If a child misses 18 or more days of school in a school year, they're considered chronically absent. Statewide in Indiana, new data shows during the last school year, one fifth of the state's students were chronically absent. In some of our area schools, the numbers are much worse. Greetings, uh, Dr. Jenner, members of the board. This is the State Board of Education at its October meeting talking about school attendance. This is a pretty jarring slide uh, for our state. According to the Indiana Department of Education, during this past school year, nearly 20% of students were considered chronically absent. While there was a decline from the previous school year, the number of students who were chronically absent last year is nearly double what it was pre-COVID. And broken down by demographic and socioeconomic status, some groups are far more likely to experience chronic absenteeism. The statewide data also shows that only 60% of students have an attendance rate of 94% or higher. That means while some students are considered chronically absent, they're still missing enough classroom time to be considered habitually absent. Because the state statute, the definition of habitual truancy is 10 yes, days. Yes, that's what that means. Yes, yeah, right. 400,000 plus. Yes, sir. That, that's that's a that's that gets your attention. And alarming. Student data shows academic scores are higher for kids who regularly go to school. It shows even after one or two absences a month, students fall behind. When you're not there and present every day, you're not going to get the same quality of education. There, in my opinion, has to be a way to hold parents of minors accountable. State officials say the causes of chronic absenteeism are complex. If this is a problem, it's not going to be a, have a single solution. Locally, many schools in our area are struggling to get kids in the classroom. It's a chronic problem. It's bad. Dave Troyer, the director of student services for School City of Mishawaka, says the number of chronically absent students has jumped up since the pandemic, and they don't know why. There's not one one canned answer to that. We got it. We have to try to do everything we possibly can, and I think that's what schools are doing. Look at the numbers from our local school districts. If you take Mishawaka. 34% of students last school year were chronically absent. That means they were missing from school more than 18 days or 10% of the school year. 34% compared to 43 the previous year. That means the chronic absentee rate went down in 2023. And in South Bend, more than 40% of students were chronically absent last school year. Now that's still a pretty high number, but it is down significantly from the previous school year. And in Elkhart, nearly 34% of students were chronically absent last school year, again, down from the previous school year. Throughout the state, high schools are seeing the largest percentages of chronically absent students. Around 47% of Mishawaka high school students were chronically absent last school year. That's down from 56% the year before. There are some internal things that take place within an academic setting that impact um, absenteeism, but there's also external things. Social workers say there could be a variety of reasons why some students might not show up to school regularly. Issues with transportation, mental health, homelessness, family dynamics, all factor in. When we're making those calls, we, we say, how can we help? How can we help get your student here? Mishawaka has implemented social emotional learning and behavioral and academic supports. But if they can't get students in school, it's difficult to help. And many educators feel like that. So what we are doing about that is we're doing everything we can to try to help. But this is not just a Mishawaka problem. It's not even our state, it's the nation and it will take all of us to fix it. The Michigan Department of Education reports the chronic absenteeism rate was 30% this past school year. It's also down from the previous year. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.